Hey everyone, what's good? It's your girl Sophie G here back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a unicorn inspired look since today is National Unicorn Day. So first things first, I'm going to start off by using this Farsali Unicorn Serum as a primer. And yes, we're totally going to do the whole Instagram thing with this. smells so good. Now I'm going to go ahead and start filling in my eyebrows using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brown Pomade in the shade Chocolate. Now I'm going to set that using my NYX Eyebrow Gel. Next, I'm going to grab a flat brush and some eyeshadow primer and carve out my eyebrow. Now I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade called Desert Stain, called Desert Sand, and then I'm going to go in with this shade called Mud. Take your big fluffy brush and just pack that all over. I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush, start working musk into my crease. With these eyeshadows, a little goes a long way. Now I'm going to go in with this even smaller fluffy brush and grab just a touch of this color amethyst and then slowly just work that into my crease. You really want to pick up just a little bit at a time and slowly add. This is my first time using any Huda Beauty product and I have to say the eye food. I love it so far. All you have to do is pick up a little bit of the eyeshadow and a little bit goes such a long ways. It is so easy to blend. All the colors just go right into each other. And I love this purple. Like, in the pan, this purple looks really bright and kind of intimidating, but once you put it on, especially with the color musk under it, it's such a... Like, you could wear this out and about and people wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, look at that super bright purple eyeshadow. Like, it's a little bit more muted, but it's still purple and it's still so, so pretty. And I'm just going to keep blending this and blending this until it is right where I want it to be. Now I'm gonna go into my Urban Decay Electric palette and I'm going to pick up a touch of the shade Jilted and just the tiniest, tiniest bit of the shade Urban. And I'm just gonna take that and press it all over my lid. And then I'm going to go back in with the small fluffy brush that I used to smoke out amethyst and I'm just going to go and make the edges of where those two colors meet seamless. Next I'm going to take a flat brush and pick up some of this color twilight. Now I'm just going to stamp that right in the center of my eyelid. And then I'm going to take the flat brush that I used for the other purple colors just to kind of soften the edges of that shade. Babe! You're not watching our show without me, are you? Okay, good. Priorities. Next, I'm going to go back into the 
Electric Palette by Urban Decay and pick up some of this color called Revolt. For some reason, my brush does not want to pick up that shade at all, so I'm going to take some of the Max Fix, Mac, Mac Fix Plus and spray it onto my brush. Then I'm going to put that in the center, very middle of that, of the shiny purples, just to kind of give it a little... Mm. Just to add a little bit more sparkle, I'm going to go in with the Heavy Metals by Urban Decay in the shade Distortion. I'm going to take that and dot it right in the middle. Then I'm going to use one of my flat brushes to just blend out the, out the outer edge. I'm going to go in with my Born This Way foundation from Too Faced in the shade Light Beige. I'm just wetting my beauty blender with some Urban Decay setting spray. Next I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium. Now I'm gonna pick up some of my banana powder, banana powder. Now I'm gonna pick up some of my banana powder on a small beauty blender and just press that in to where I just put my concealer. Now I'm not gonna go too overboard with powder just because I have dry skin. And the powder really just sucks all the moisture out of my skin. I did just figure out the perfect skincare routine for my skin so if you want me to make a skincare video then just let me know in the comments and I will happily happily do that and immediately I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and just start to rub that powder in everywhere so that it doesn't just sit and bake in one spot now I'm gonna use my Coco contour palette by Too Faced and I'm going to go in with the lighter bronzing shade using just a bigger fluffy brush I'm just gonna grab some push that right into blending with all the other products then after I push it in I'm just gonna blend upwards now I'm going to take an eyeshadow blending brush and just touch into my bronzer to contour my nose Next, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Papadome Peach Blush. And since this is a very pinky, purpley, unicorn look we're going for, we're just going to go crazy with the blush. Next, I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star Highlight in the shade Nefri. Now that we are glowing to the heavens, let's have a little bit of fun with the under eye. Now I'm gonna just take the flat brush that I used for the two purples earlier, and I'm just gonna go in. I'm only going to take a little bit of jilted this time. Just on the top of that brush. Then I'm gonna go in with another flat brush and take some of this shade Savage. I'm just going to push this into the center of that color. Now I'm going to take another flat brush and go back in with the shade Revolt. I'm just going to push that right, right in the center of my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take 
a white eyeliner pencil from NYX and I'm just gonna put that all on my lower lash line close to my eye. Now I'm gonna go back in with some of that heavy metal glitter from Urban Decay and I'm just gonna put it all on this bottom part. Just right where that eyeshadow ends, I want glitter to begin. Almost like a little glitter wing. And then I'm gonna take some more of that silver, silver revolt color from the electric palette to put on my inner corner. big and messy with that. Now I'm gonna go in with my Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics right after I do some setting spray. Okay, now I'm gonna do mascara. I just put on the Dodo Lashes in the style D301 in case you are wondering. This is what they look like. This is what the look looks like so far. I like it. Not too bad for someone who didn't plan out this video at all. <laughs> if I do say so much. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX lip liner in the shade Amethyst. It's a purple. I'm just going to outline my lips with it. Now I'm going to try to blend this NYX liquid lipstick with this pink Kylie liquid lipstick. The NYX is in the shade Amethyst and the Kylie one is in the shade Ochre. Wish me luck. The Kylie ones dry super fast. Not too bad. It's bad. It's bad. So I'm just going to go back and forth between the colors and rubbing my lips together just to get it, get the colors where I want them to be, if that makes any sense. And then just to kind of get the lips to the next level, I'm going to go in with some more of that Nefri highlight and I'm just going to pat it on top. This is the part that I'm most excited about. For the final touch, I have these Cover FX Glitter Drops. This is in the shade Aurora, and if you have ever gone to Sephora and swatched these, then you know what I'm talking about. You know how amazing they are. Like, let me just show you real quick. Literally. Okay, so one tiny drop, right? That's just like the tiniest drop ever. Like, look at my pinky next to that. And then let me just... Do you see that? It goes such a long way. That is it you guys for this finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I was a little bit more monotone than I usually am. It's just because I haven't been feeling good for the past few days, but I just really wanted to get this video out for you guys since today is National Unicorn Day. And anyone that knows anything about makeup knows that unicorns are a big part of makeup and makeup companies. There's like glitter everywhere. Too Faced has their own unicorn collection. Like it is so big in the makeup world right now. Sorry that I didn't really plan it out. So if it looks crazy, let me know. It probably does. Anyways, I kind of like it. I've never really done anything like this before, but it kind of matches my hair. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to 
like the video and comment down below what you would like to see me do next. If I wasn't too awkward for you, then be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. I love you all and I will see you all next time. Bye!